Paul. <laughs> you know that D.L. Moody, yes, uh -huh. and his evangelism, yes. <laughs> You know, as a, a revivalist, poop. <laughs> I really have studied the lives of most of those that are very successful in their Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> now, the thought was, okay, <laughs> that I wanted to have uh, some, some revivalistic meetings in approximately 10 to 15 years. <laughs> now, for all of you that said, well, we're going to right now. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me the Harpo poop? Mm -hmm. Now, for every satellite that you're no longer using, yeah, you're getting a lawsuit. <laughs> you're going to pay me to go up there and get it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back down here. I'm not fixing it up there. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make a few technological changes to it. Right. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it back up there. Yes. <laughs> and we're using it for forest fire prevention. <laughs> Now, um, these motion pictures, yes, could you get me those that manufacture motion pictures? <laughs> because I've been wanting to make some movies with some volunteers that involves the use of eroticism. <laughs> it's the eros of Christianity. <laughs> some women that are, well, <laughs> let's say they're not experienced actresses. But they're willing to learn exactly what I want to teach them. <laughs> And they're willing to volunteer their sexual nerve endings to remove the influence, yes, of the Illuminatus lizard in your rectum, yes, and the oral fish fixation of your dogfish lookalikes. <laughs> now, let's say here, woman, you're thinking, I'd like to be in the movie, yes, <laughs> you'd like to volunteer, yes, to make a certain kind of eroticism that deprograms a dog out of the minds and programs in the eroticism of being a person. Yeah, that's right. That's 